In the last video, we saw how we can create and edit files on Orion. We saw how to navigate the different directories. In this video, we're going to see how we can run our data science experiments on Orion. So to run an experiment on Orion, you need to uh, we need to use something called a container. A container is a way to package all of our code and all of the programs we need to use and it, everything we need to run our experiments are stored in this one package. And we can install any program we want, have any scripts, anything within that container without affecting anyone else on Orion. So any installation we do inside the container is going to stay inside that sandbox environment. Let's start by creating a folder where we're going to keep this first container in. Let's do ls, see we're in our home directory. I'm going to make a new directory, mkdir, to create directory, make directory, uh, and then first job, cd first job. So now I've navigated to this brand new first job directory. And we can see that because it says first job there. And then I'm going to do a singular, we're going to write singularity and then pull. So singularity pull docker. This whole command is going to be in the video description. What this says is use singularity, singularity run the pull command and which just says download this already existing virtue or container. Um, so downloading a container that someone else has made for us. Just gonna press enter. It's gonna take a few seconds. What's happening now is that this program Singularity is going online to something called Docker Hub and getting the container with this name. If we now look at our uh, at our the files in this directory, we see that we have a brand new TensorFlow latest GPU Pi three dot sif. So we do can do singularity exec. I'm just gonna copy from uh, previously singularity exec, and then the name of this container. If you press the tab button that's just above the caps lock, it will autocomplete, then Python. So this says, hey, Singularity, you're going to run a program, give access to any GPU we have, and run the TensorFlow latest GPU Pi 3sif It's going to have some warnings and stuff, just ignore that. And then we'll do, here, we'll do a import tensorflow as tf and there's a tf.test.is gpu available and then we're going to see get a false because we have currently even though we're signed into orion we haven't requested access to any gpus and this is something you need to do for any job you need to request access to a GPU. So normally, when you request access to a GPU, you would do that through a slurm uh, batch file. So you submit a file to the queue. Now it describes everything you want to do. For now, we're going to do it in an interactive session. So now we're just going to write, this is just to test that everything works. You can write queue login and then partition GPU and we want to have access to one GPU. Press enter. And now we've uh, got access to a GPU. We've requested, hey, can we have a GPU? And Orion said back, yes, you can. Because you see, granted job allocation. So then we're going to do the exact same thing. Oh, uh, going to copy this line we run up there. Singularity, exec, again, start singularity, uh, run a program, that's this exec, 
give it access to any GPU. We want to run a program from this container file and we want to run Python. And then we can do import TensorFlow as TF again. And this is going to take a bit longer than last time. And then tf.test.is GPU available. And then hopefully this will say true. See, a lot more is happening this time. We get true. Because now we've asked for a GPU and we're given a GPU. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own singularity file to describe this, uh, to describe your, the program you want to run, to describe your uh, experiments.